This is an electron, it's a quantum particle, and it's exactly here. But it's also here, and here, at the same time. Wait, what? That cannot be true, right? Uh, uh yes. No. The thing is, we actually don't know where the electron exactly is. Instead, we only know where the electron might be. It's very likely to be somewhere here, and much less likely to be out here. But how can we not know where the electron is? I mean, there has to be something wrong with this theory, right? Quantum physics is weird. In almost any theory in physics, you can exactly predict how something behaves. But that's not the case for quantum particles. Quantum physics doesn't tell us what exactly is going to happen. It only tells us that if you were to look at the electron, most likely you would find it right here. Of course, looking at electrons is not so easy. We cannot look at electrons with a naked eye. But you could make a device that can do it, if you had room full of scientists and a few million dollars. So let's say that you have arranged that. And you have measured the electron to be exactly here. Hmm, okay, and now what? Where is the electron now, right after you have measured it? You just don't know again, you are exactly where you started. You would have to measure it again, and every time you would find it at a slightly different place. Okay, but what does it mean? Does it mean that the electron is really at one place and we just don't know where? Or does it mean that the electron is kind of everywhere? Well, to figure this out, scientists did an experiment. They took an electron gun. It's a gun that fires electrons. Then they build a simple wall with two tiny holes and place a detector behind it. Now the question is, what happens when you fire an electron? Will it go only through one hole? Or will it go through both holes at the same time? If electron behaves like a particle, it will go only through one of the holes. In this case, if you send many electrons over and over again, you will find two lines on the detector. Each line will correspond to electrons from one of the holes. This is basically what would happen if you fired a bunch of tiny basketballs. Uh, wait. This basketball just did something weird. It's right over there. And it's subscribed to my channel. You should do that too. So, they did this experiment with real electrons. And what they saw was actually something different. They saw something like this. What the hell is that, right? It turns out this is something familiar in physics. If you made this experiment with some kind of wave instead of particles, like light or water waves, this is exactly what you would see. While basketball would just go straight through the hole, waves spread in every direction. A single wave hitting these two holes will split into two waves. These two waves will interact and create one more complicated wave. This wave will be bigger at some places, while at other places it will be smaller. If you then place a detector somewhere, you will find this weird looking shape. It's called the interference pattern. Ok, but what are you trying to say? What does it actually mean? Well, I'm trying to say this. You could argue that the electron is really just at one place and for whatever reason we just cannot know where exactly. But this experiment proves that the electron kind of goes through both holes. Which is a thing that you would expect from a wave, not from a particle. Ok, so now you are saying that electrons are waves? How can a particle be a wave? Well, no, they are not actual waves. It's just that at these super small scales, the existence of particles, atoms and even big molecules is not tied to just one point in space. The region of space where electron might be is determined by a single function, called wave function. And it doesn't determine just where the electron is, but also everything else about the electron, like its speed and energy. It's called wave function for a reason. It has properties of waves. But it's not really easy to understand what this wave function actually represents. Mostly because we cannot directly see or measure the wave function. So it's almost like this invisible entity that tells the electron what to do. Almost like his boss. But a boss that cannot really decide what he wants. The wave function only tells us the probability of finding an electron at some point in space. 
And this doesn't mean that we humans are just too dumb to figure out where the electron is. Quantum particles really behave like this weird blob of probability. So even though electron is a particle, its existence is controlled by a function that behaves like a wave. Whenever we detect an electron, we always see it as this localized particle. But sometimes we can see the effect of the hidden wave function. And that's exactly what we see in this double slit experiment. This experiment exposes even more bizarre aspects of quantum physics. Aspects that many scientists had trouble accepting, even Albert Einstein. In the next videos, I will go deeper into that. So make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications. Also, make sure to post any questions you have down in the comment section. I will answer every single one. And hit the thumbs up button. See you next time.